Now, costumes are, of course, an essential part of theater and the movies, but as our next story shows, they can also move out into the real world in a most enjoyable and beneficial way. The 501st Legion is a volunteer organization whose members sew and build their own Star Wars wear to have some fun and help raise money for charitable causes. $43 million worldwide so far. And as producer Ashley Holcroft shows us, some of that good work is being done right here in KC. Charity auctions. They're usually known for offering some fairly lavish lots. Like this last November's Tiny Tim Holiday Fantasy Gala, enticing bidders with some 200 to choose from. Like a mink coat valued at over $5,000. A 45-minute lesson via Skype with Russian-born chess champ Gata Kamsky. Ladies. A bat autographed by Salvi Perez. Or something described as a private movie theater experience. And for the high bidders of the latter, that affair unfolded on a magical, albeit frigid, Casey night. Yes, their bundle included an appearance from members of the 501st Legion, an international league of film accurate costumed Star Wars aficionados that boasts a robust KC tendril. <laughs> and like for many members, Bill Holmes, or Boba Fett as he's garbed on this night, passion for the franchise was well in place before he knew of the 501st. When I started building my first costume, I wanted to build the cool Halloween costume. Never dreamed that I would join the 501st or even know what the 501st was. Then I thought, well, my God, this is really cool. There's a group of people that have the same interests and that, and that's how I got involved. Although now a high-ranking member, back then he thought he'd troop, which is what insiders call event appearances, a few times a year. Well, that figure ballooned to upwards of 80. But although the 501st Legion is the largest, it certainly isn't the only game in town. In fact, there are four major branches that make up the Star Wars costuming universe, all of which have regional bases, starting with the oldest, the 501st Legion. Which does primarily the canon or movie, video game, novel, extension, bad guys for the Star Wars universe. Rebel Legion. Does the good guys, two sides of one coin, kind of. Mandalorian Mercs. Does canon, which is like Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Mandalorians, as well as you can create your own costume based on that culture and the lines. Dark Empire. Custom Sith, the custom force using bad guys. What we do is twofold things with all the groups. We build costumes. We try to do source accurate and movie quality costumes. What we do with these costumes is typically we do a lot of charity work. You're probably thinking build means buy, but that's not the case. Although they are expensive, hundreds of man hours go into each costume, and many of them start here in Bill's basement. And it's evenings like these that are full of creative Small. solutions to uncommon problems. Normally I don't do this in Jedi clothes. This is actually mostly stained with tea and coffee. The one thing that was really cool about Star Wars was, was a, old universe where things got passed down and, and transitioned from time to time. And as a prop maker, it makes it interesting because when you make things, a lot of times you start out with something new and you make it old. War stories. First time I built this, I sealed it shut. Oh, no. And I was on a stage with, with spotlight on me. It was like the helmet was getting soft from the, the heat from the light. <laughs> a little of this. Oh, OK. A dash of that. And a co-op paradigm. We share each other's abilities and skills because there are things that some of us do better than others. But even before the build, these fans have to figure out who they want to portray. Picking a costume is a very, I think, a very personal choice. You have to decide what you're comfortable with. Are you comfortable showing your face? I'm not. Because I'm too animated, I sit there and I'll be laughing about something with my Stormtrooper helmet on. But they can't see me, I'm very, very serious. Or at least I have the appearance of being serious. So I tend not to pick what they call face characters. Which brings up an interesting dynamic in what many presume to be a male-dominated genre. It's almost, nobody thinks it's a girl. So 
Girls, though, are very happy when they find out that I'm a girl. If I talk to them and my microphone system picks up, they realize, you're a girl, oh my gosh. All this effort is ultimately, for one thing, to bring a little joy into the lives of people, regardless of age, who are facing challenges, like the Force Academy at the Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital in Florida. One of the fellows in there, he, he was like a 17-year-old kid. He was going through dialysis and everything, and, and then we came in and he just lit up. The guy was all excited, you know, it's like, you just, you just saved me, I'm so bored. And he just started talking about the new movie. Or locally, when a little girl they met at Children's Mercy wanted to be a stormtrooper. We came up with, and I'm not even sure how, child-sized stormtrooper armor. And we were working on it late at night. The next day was um, the opening of Planet Comic Con. And she got to lead the parade with one of our members to make a friend out of it. She is just great in my heart. I love her. The charity aspect, it's probably the best way that I've ever found to use my skills and my talents to actually benefit somebody else. There are countless stories of the troop going above and beyond for those in need. But sometimes, the Siths just want to have fun. And an event like this salute to John Williams at the Kaufman Center is just the thing. Complete with swordplay and a big finale. Everyone lives a very mundane life, no matter how much they make, what professions they're from. They live a very ritualized life. We all do. And this brings a little bit of magic into people's lives. We're normal people that go to jobs, but we also spend time working with people in our communities. The rewards are, are, are from the smiles and the, making a difference. <laughs>